welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emelifo Noel Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we are going to be talking about, you know, what you require to raise 2,000 fishes. Um, I have done some before. I have done for like 50 fishes. I've done 100. I've done 500. I've done 1,000. So, but I have some requests from people that, okay, if I should, uh, I could do 2,000, 5,000 and 10,000, just like that. Yeah, but today I want us to be talking about 2,000 fishes, what you require to raise 2,000 fishes, starting from um, the size of pond, then fishes, um, feed, then after that, if you have any question, please drop it at the end of this video and I'll be able to answer you all your questions. Anyway, remember that this is Letters Fan page. We are not forming any WhatsApp group. I can't ask you to pay me for any WhatsApp group information and don't pay anybody for that. So sit back, relax, watch this video. If you have any question at the end of this video, kindly ask me. And if you have any problem in your farm, simply do a two to three minutes video and send to me. I'll be glad to help you. It's free of charge. I'll be right back. welcome back so like i said um on this video today what we're talking about is what well, your requirement for raising 2000 fishes first of all i want you to understand this it is not about the quantity you raise that makes you a catfish farmer this is a problem that many people have most times when they ask me this I try to understand the person that wants to raise these fishes, what's your plan, what's your budget. I discovered that most people are fascinated by the number of fishes they raise instead of how do they raise these fishes. And unfortunately, if you raise number without having a backup plan for raising these fishes, sorry will be what you get at the end. You won't get any good result. I don't wish for you to have that, but today, listen to whatever I'm going to tell you today and understand and understand that whatever i'm giving you today because i'm not going to put a price cap at the end of the day but i will give you an idea of how much you are supposed to have as of today 2024 based on the prevailing um, economy but i'm going to give you the breakdown of you know what you require to buy so that whenever you may watch this video calculate with the current prices of bags of feed as at then to know exactly where you are going to Having said this, let's jump right in and discuss this. So first of all, if you want to raise 2,000 um, catfishes from juvenile to 1 kg base point, 1 kg is our target weight. Remember, I've always said you calculate this thing by the weight at which you want to get. For example, any if I'm talking about 1, 1 kg now, it will not be the same thing that somebody that wants to go to 2 kg. So let us understand it and as I go on. Now, on 2,000 fishes, my calculation now is based on 1 kg. 1 kg doesn't mean that all of them will be 1 kg. No, for people that will be too fast. In catfish farm, no matter how you raise them, all of them cannot be the same uniform kg. But the calculation I'm going to give you here is that 60% of the fish you are going to raise now with this calculation is going to give you figures way above 1 kg. Then the remaining 40%, you will get 30% of it being on 1 kg. Then less than 10% is going to be on below 1 kg, which is around 900 gram. So that's my calculation for this. So if there's any question at the end, then no problem. So if you want to plan to raise 1,000 and 2,000 catfishes from juvenile to 1 kg uh, base, uh, basic weight, your first target is that you're going to use budget to use 216 bags of feed. Yes, 216 bags of feed. That's what you require for this journey. Now, in these 216 bags of feed, I will give you a little breakdown analysis of what you will buy. Then, like I always say, I don't, I can't pinpoint anything for you. Like I cannot say you will buy two kg bags of feed when they are one month, and then you won't buy another one because it can change. Like you understand that fishes work with the body temperature, which works with the temperature of the water they are in, and the neatness of your pond determines how your fishes will eat. So if all these things are not in place, and maybe I give you a cap of buying only two bags, and maybe 
they did not eat up to the two bags, you may think that what I'm saying is not correct. Or they eat more than two bags, you say, oh, I have misled you. Before we get to the bags of it, let's talk about the pond. Now, the pond size you are supposed to use, there's no particular pond that can take 2,000 fishes. Any pond that takes, two, the only pond that can take 2,000 straight fishes is the eating pond. But it's not advisable if you want to make the best result to put all your fishes in 2000 uh, in one pond in 18 pond. Reason is that it's going to be a very big pond. Example if you want to do 2000 fishes on 18 pond, I advise and suggest you use two ponds. Each of these ponds should be 20 feet by 50 feet. 20 feet by 50 feet each of the pond. Then two of it will give you the best result on your 2000 fishes. Then, if for some reasons you want to use one pond, you can use 20 by 100 feet, 20 feet by 100 feet, then 4 feet deep, so that the water will be on 3 feet. So if you use the same pond, one, it will give you a result. But for me, on the best advice is get two ponds of each of the pond weighing 20 feet by 50 feet, two places. So when you use it, when you stock, you can stock all the 2,000 in one of these ponds, then after two weeks, you separate it into the two ponds, it will give you a good result. Now, for if you don't have an eating pond and you want to use a tapolin pond, my advice is that you either use four tapolin ponds or eight tapolin ponds, depending on which of these sizes can be available. But if the two sizes I mentioned now are not available, you can actually chat me. I'll be able to like look at the sizes that you have and tell you how many of those sizes can work for these two ponds, for this number. So you can use either 25 feet by 20 feet by 4 feet. 25 by 20, 4 feet is the depth so that you maintain your water level at 3 feet high. When you do this, you are going to get good results. But if you are buying this pond, you have to buy 4 of it. 4. So you suck the fishes into 4 places of so 5,500 in each of this pond. Now, in case you don't get this number, you can actually buy 8 ponds. Each of these ponds should be 15 feet by 15 feet by 4 feet. 4 feet is the depth so that your water will be at 3 feet at, at three feet high. So that should be 15 15 by 4 feet. But if you don't get the sizes, like I said, you can actually reach out to me. Then I will be able to give you the sizes based on what is available to you. On how many they can contain, I can be able to help you tell you how many of the sizes you have that can take 2,000. But these things I'm telling you now are what you can easily go outside and go and buy. Remember, what I'm telling you is what will give you the best result. But you can choose to do whatever you want. That's really none of my business. But I'm just telling you what is going to give you the best result. Now, having said that for ponds. There is no plastic pond that you can use to raise 2,000 fishes. If you are still thinking of using plastic pond, kindly leave that. It can't work. And anybody that wants to raise 2,000 fishes and doesn't have money to buy ponds, sorry, you're wasting your time. Please, it's not as if I don't want you to raise the fish, but I'm telling you the reality. If you want to raise 2,000 fishes and you don't have money to buy pond, it's a waste. Then you can go and rent. You can rent 18 pond. Or maybe if you see where to rent a tapolin pond, you can rent. But you will later understand why I said what I said now. Because 216 bags of feed is no joke. We are talking of over two, almost 3 million naira. So let's go ahead. Now in your feeding, the, best, the first feed you buy, I will advise you to buy 10 kg of 1.8 mm feed. Now this 1.8 mm feed, for me, people ask me, say, hey, what are you using? I want to use the same feed. Okay. For me, I use cretin, but that doesn't mean that there are no other feeds that are good. You have copens. You can buy 1.8 mm of copens, buy 10 kg, or you can buy alakwa, 1.8 mm of alakwa. It's still fine. But for me, I normally use foreign feed to start, just to like give them a head start, because foreign feed has more protein that our, than our own Nigerian produced feed, not my individually produced local feed, so that we don't get this thing confused. Now, so the first thing I said is buy 10 kg of 1.8 mm. It may not come in 10 kg bags. It normally comes in 5 kg bag by two. So after this 1.8 mm, you move to 2 mm. Like I said, in my own case, I like using foreign feed. So what I would have done if it is when they finish these uh, four bags, the first four bags you bought after the um, the 1.8 mm, it should be getting to two moons. So when you are done with these four bags, kindly switch 
to your Nigerian local. Don't switch to your personal local, switch to your Nigerian local. So you can, Nigerian local, you have many other ones. You have like Blue Crown, you have Top, yeah, you have Vital, you have many other Nigerian local feed. But for me, I use Blue Crown. So if you want to use Blue Crown, it's all up to you. But what's the size that is my problem here, size that matters is buy 2 mm size of it. So you buy 4 bags. Now, this is tricky. So when you buy these four bags, they are supposed to consume these four bags until they get to their third month, the first day of their third month. But they may finish it before three months. Now, if the fishes finish these uh, bags of feed before three months, buy additional 2 mm bag. Don't go and rush to 4 mm. You don't need it. Buy additional 2 mm bag. Now, on the first day of their three months of age, go and buy 3 mm feed, 10 bags. On the first day of their three months, go and buy 3 mm of their 10 bags. So, if you follow all these procedures that I have been saying, by the time the fishes get to four months, on the first day of their four months, buy another 10 bags of 4 mm. Now, you see, I have said buy three bags, uh, 10 bags of 3 mm. Doesn't mean that that's the only 3 mm they are going to eat. It now depends on you. I don't need to do everything for you because I wouldn't be there. So I don't know at the pace at which your fishes are eating. Once you feed them very well, they may finish 10 bags within two weeks. And if they do, buy 3 mm. Don't go to 4 mm. Now, in between these points that you have, you can actually sort them again so that you align them with their sizes. So if you can be able to do that, when they are three and a half months, you, the ones that are bigger in size, place those ones on 4 mm. But the ones that are still small in size, please keep them on 3 mm. Now, if you can understand all this, as I've said to this point, when you get to 4 months, on the first day of their 4 months, you move them to 4 mm. But then again, the small ones, 4 mm. But when they get to second week of their 4 months, move the big ones to 6 mm. I did not say big ones and your fishes are small. I said they are big. You are wasting your time. So if you are not sure of how big they are at that time, still remain on 4 mm till they get to like 3 the third week of their fourth month before you go to CCMN on the big ones so that you don't make mistake. Now, if you understand what I have said, you see that I did not put a cap on how many you must use every month. Like the first one that I said, buy 10 bags, buy 8 bags, there are 4 uh, bags of foreign feed and then you move to local. The idea is that when they finish foreign feed and you're Nigerian local, after that four bags and they want more bags keep buying for them but the foreign after four your initial four bags of buying the foreign feed it's enough on that so even if they finish the foreign before the, the time for the local buy switch to local they are okay with the foreign that's the idea but now every month have a size they are supposed to eat like when they are two months they are supposed to be on two mm the first day of their third month, you put them on 3 mm. The first day of their fourth month, you place them on 4 mm. The first day of their fifth month, you place them on 6 mm. Depending on what you want to achieve in this fish. Don't give the 9 mm, they are not up to that level of 9 mm. Now, if for some reasons you want to sell at exactly 1 kg, with this calculation I gave you, once these fishes get to 4 months, Four and a half months, the feed would have almost been finished. If they are not finished, the remaining um, the fishes try and test weigh them. Even when they are three and a half months, you start seeing one, one kg. So by the time they are four months, four and a half months, your fishes are ready for sale. If you have followed, if you have budgeted the way I said you should budget and get to this point, you would have used almost all the feed I mentioned, or it will not it does really small. That's why I said, like where I said 10 bags, they may finish that 10 bags in the one week, buy more, feed them as they are eating. Do not manage your feed. Do not say, oh, today I'm giving them only 5 kg of feed. You will be wasting your time. Now, method of feeding this your fishes should be feed them very well in the morning and feed them very well later in the evening. Don't feed them when the sun is up because they will not eat. 
So feed them when the sun is up, not up. Last later in the evening, they will eat excellently. Now, some people will be wondering, okay, what do you place as the price? As as your as the price that you will buy your budget for that's your budget for this thing. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, the budget you will have as at the economy as at today, as at the price of feed as at today is budget 1.8 million. This 1.8 million, um, not 1.8, sorry, 2.8 million. This 2.8 million, you're not giving me, oh, I said budget. That's leave this money in your bank. From your bank, they go collect them. Um, they buy the feed. You understand? You can actually go to very big feed dealers and pay for your feed so that inflation will not come and meet you and the feed. So when you pay, anytime you call me, pick up your feed. That's how many of us will run our business till date. They do it for us in fish farming. So now, if you're not in Nigeria and you don't understand uh, the currency exchange rate, you know, what we do is budget $2,300 as at today, 2024, to be able to raise 2,000 fishes. I don't know how much you sell fish in your area, but like in my area, some people sell uh, one kg of fish between 1,008 and 3,000 per kilo. So some people can sell 2,600, some people can sell 2,000, some people can sell 3,000. So if you are a business-minded person, if you go with the calculation I gave you at the initial time of um, what is my projection on what will come out of this fish, you will discover that if you do what I have said now, if you finish this production, you are going to make around 60% as profit, between 40 and 60%. But that is if you do what I have said. If for some reasons you decided to like use one pond or use two pond or manage whatever you want, well, the outcome is really none of my business because that's up to you because you chose that part and whatever you see, fine. And make sure that the seed you are using is a good seed. If you don't have anybody that will sell uh, fish to you, that's seed, that's juvenile that you want to use. If you chat me, I will direct you to my supplier. Mind you, I don't hash. So I got no business in what you are going to buy. But I can direct you to the person that sells to me. Anything that happens, just let me know. If there's anything I have said in this video now that probably you don't understand, kindly reach out to me. And I will answer you very well. If you are worried about what drugs you are supposed to use or how much you budget for drugs, sorry, there's no drug. You don't need drug at all. All you need is make sure that your water is clean, maintain your water changing capability, and then you get the best result. So if there's anything I have said you don't understand, kindly use the comment section and I will surely answer you. So until I come your way next time, my name is Emily Fong Noel Oge of Let Us Farm. Keep farming.